All right, guys, look, my name is Tommy, and of course, this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And on today's show, it is going to be pretty cool. And I mean cool because I am in the air conditioning, and it is about 95 degrees out here in the Garden State. And quite frankly, man, I am over the heat, and I'm all ready for the fall. But look, on today's show, I am going to bring you a cool recipe. It is going to be a French onion chicken thigh. And on top of that, I am going to show you a new product. It is a Kickstarter product from Taste Plus. It is a Dutch oven that definitely looks pretty cool. It is heavy as heavy can be. So that tells me right there it is made good. Let's turn our attention down to the board. Let me show you this product and then we will get on with the recipe. Five in one design, some key features. How about dual pans? That's double the cooking efficiency. We're talking two multi purpose lids. That is a pretty cool patent suction knob. How about made to match your kitchen? You've got many colors to choose from. How about porcelain enamel and coating over a premium cast iron? I am telling you, these suckers are heavy. Easily stackable, maximize your storage space, durability, and sturdy. I am telling you, these are built to last. I will have all information on this kickstarter down in the description and i gotta tell you i would definitely recommend checking it out all righty guys so like i said this product definitely has some weight on it which is a uh, which is a good thing now look what i want to do here is turn our attention down to the product to the board and let's start this amazing recipe so look i am telling you right now this recipe is a must make for sure and as you could see i've got a little bit of olive oil in the uh in the skillet there i've got some chicken thighs these are boneless chicken thighs skin removed surface temp is about 350 and she will rise from there these are lightly floured with the uh, excess flour brushed off it we will let these run for approximately about two minutes or so that'll give us a nice browning we will then flip it over and finish it up That is a uh, that is a pretty good looking color right there. We definitely have it covered up so we can get that inside cooked. After about another minute or so, you want to temp check and make sure that your uh, chicken is thoroughly cooked. This is we will get it off and we will get it on a plate to rest. So look, important to note here as I've uh, burnt up the bottom of this pot is how well am I going to be able to get this clean? Stay tuned to find that out. So guys, we are moving right along. I've got some sliced garlic there. I will get that garlic in. I will then deglaze the pan a little bit. As you can see, we got a little toasty on the bottom. These one burner uh, little stove things here are uh, a little slow to react. So we definitely got a little toasty, no big deal. I will hit that with about two tablespoons of water or so. Then I will get about a cup of onions in. At that point, we cover it, we let it simmer, that uh, water will evaporate, there is no doubt about it, those onions will start to uh, wilt, start to cook up. And there is that patent approved uh, lid right there where you will get minimal to zero drippage. That is a uh, that is a nice sight, half a teaspoon of better than bouillon beef base half a teaspoon of better than bouillon a chicken base to that we will get about one cup of water in we will uh, give that a little incorporate together we will get that lid on and we will reduce this to half oh man that is flavor yeah and a little bit of butter that is going to help with that silkiness that you want all right, guys, so look, we're about halfway through on this recipe, and I am definitely digging this product here from Taste Plus. It is doing what it is supposed to do. It is pushing the steam out to the back while it is trapping all that moisture inside, so I am definitely digging that. I may have had the burner a little bit too hot as we toasted up the, uh, toasted up the bottom a little bit too much. These uh, burners are a little slow to react. 
where I can pull the uh, stuff off the stove and move it to a lower burner just like that. You can't do it with this one burner, no big deal. I will reduce that soup mixture into half. I will add in my chicken thighs, cover it up with some Swiss cheese, melt all that goodness together, hit it with some rice, plate it up, and close out the show. So look, we are definitely looking good here. And I'm telling you, man, if you like onion soup, if you like chicken thighs, Swiss cheese, you know the deal. This recipe is 100% killer. We have reduced in half. We have thickened up. I will get some chicken thighs back in. Let all that goodness simmer for maybe about 30 seconds to one minute or so. And then I will start piling on, the, uh, on that Swiss cheese and we will pile it on thick. I want it cheesy. There you go. So look, this part is not going to take long. There, we are uh, we are moving pretty 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 good. That uh, cheese is nice and melted. You're talking about maybe a minute, minute and a half. I mean, look at that, guys. Come on. I've got a plate of rice, and I will start piling up this. Uh, these uh these these chicken thighs around the rice and just look at that cheese man this is cheesy good this is onion soup cheesy good i mean you know wow i i can't say enough about this recipe other than stay tuned because i will be bringing all this goodness to the griddle soon oh man i mean yeah that is a uh, that is a meal for a king. So guys, look, I will pile all this on. Don't forget all that soup mixture in that uh, in that container there. We will pour that on the uh, pour that right over the rice. Let's take this in live for that taste test. Yeah. All righty, guys, I got to ask the question. Did you just witness what I witnessed? I mean, this looks absolutely incredible, cheesy, onion cheesy good. I can't wait to dive into this, and I will be refining this uh, uh, recipe here for the, uh, for the griddle. There is no doubt about it, so stay tuned to that. Let's go in for that taste test. Wow, and talk about it, man. I am just, uh, I'm a little bit giddy right now with this recipe, I have to tell you. I mean, I'm a big fan of onion soup. I'm a big fan of chicken thighs, cheese, Swiss cheese. I, I, I went the extra mile and got a good Swiss cheese. I was contemplating putting a, uh, a little piece of bread on each one, but I thought it would sog out too fast, so I didn't do it. Here we go, cheers. Wow. So guys, I gotta tell you, and I know I say this a lot, but onion soup, chicken thighs are absolutely amazing. I mean, this is one of the uh, this is one of the best things that I've made in a long time, especially in the house, in the kitchen. And like I said, I will be bringing this out to the griddle, and I will be bringing it out pretty quick. So stay tuned to that. So look, this, uh, this uh, Dutch oven by Taste Plus it definitely did the job. I am definitely digging what it did. I do wish it was a little bit bigger, but if you are a family of two, maybe three, it'll be perfect for you. Again, though, it comes with two pots, though. So if I was doing this on the stove, I would have had both pots going at the same time, and that would have definitely helped with the uh, space. So if you are a family of four or five, you can definitely get two pots going, no problem there. Again, that is it for this. This is a quick starter. It'll all be down in the description. I will have the whole kit and caboodle down there along with this recipe. And like I said, stay tuned because you'll be seeing this recipe again pretty quick. So look, man, that is going to close out this show. I appreciate you all for watching. My YouTube join members right down there is a button. I appreciate those guys, my Patreon members. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody. Again, my name is Tommy, and until next time, we will see you soon. Very important to note here with some light cleaning, this thing cleaned up as if new. And again, I'd like to highlight the uh, 
all in one style of this uh, of this Dutch oven. Just put it all in one like that takes very little space. This is a winner. There is no doubt about it. <laughs>